Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Anaplan Expert Series videos. Today, we'll be discussing the various functionalities that Anaplan offers when importing data into modules. Part two of our series on imports within Anaplan. Let's get started. So, there's two kinds of imports within Anaplan, and here's a decision tree that shows you that list of exact options. The first option is to only update imported cells. This kind of import does not require any further complexity and would really be a standard delta import. Or you can select the second option, which is to clear the target module prior to import. And depending on the subsequent choices you make, this can be a full load where you end up clearing all the items and reloading them. Or you can utilize some of the functionality in Anaplan to clear specific items, whether they be line items or specific mapped list items and that have a match in the source. So let's dive deeper. So the first option is to only update imported cells. Now this import process will only update an existing target item value if there's a matching source item that is mapped to it. Now this is great for incremental or delta loads because only change data is updated and the data for the existing but unmatched records remain the same. Then there's the Anaplan default option of clearing the target module prior to import. This zeroes out the target items prior to import. And so all the past data is, reported, is replaced with source item values that are mapped in, while unmapped items remain zeroed out. Now this is excellent for full loads where maximum accuracy is of the utmost importance. All right, so let's meet our model. So let's say we're a small branch of a Wisconsin-based bank, and we're using Anaplan for various business planning functions. And in one of your models, you're holding current account information, just like this, to monitor outstanding balances owed to the bank. Well, this model pulls data from a variety of sources, and they're pulled together at different intervals, but they all have to work cohesively together. Essentially, in this model, there's two kinds of data. There's the semi-permanent data, like account holder name, address, city, branch, phone number, email, etc. Now, this data we don't really expect to change except very periodically. For example, a customer changes their address or their phone number. They move to a different state and thus they change their bank branch. Well, the source of this data is the corporate office and their personal data is stored on corporate servers as opposed to the local branch servers. And thus an update is pushed at the end of every week or maybe the start of every day to reflect these changes. Now, corporate will often only send the delta data, the data that has changed, and so it's important to maintain this data and only update differentiated items. There's also another kind of data, the variable data, which is like balance, date, and time. These updates occur very often as they need to be re reflected as soon as possible in our model for optimal business function. This data will be a full data load to ensure maximum accuracy, and it's usually timestamped. So let's say you wanted to begin the process of importing this data into your Anaplan module. This is how you'd go about it. So this is the module import landing page, and it's where you choose your various mappings, as well as the initial choice on the type of import you'll be engaging in. Do you want to clear the target prior to import, or do you want to only update the imported cells? Well, it depends on what kind of data you're using. For us, we have to look at the file. So here's an example of that Delta file from corporate that would highlight changes in account information. This is the kind of data that usually would be automated, um, the import of using a tool like Anaplan Connect to run weekly. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll be doing this manually to highlight the functionality. So this would be what it would look like in the back end. Notice how we only assign specific accounts in our import. Only the items in green are updated. The items in blue will not be updated, nor will they be cleared. They will remain exactly the same as we'll demonstrate in our next slide because we only update the imported cells methodology. Now let's navigate to our model. So we, open up this corporate upload button. We choose our corporate update file and we run the import. 
Now, as you can see, the only data that has been updated, the only data that's changed from Wisconsin to Florida-based data, are these 100 level accounts, the accounts that we saw in our file just a few moments ago. Their addresses changed from Wisconsin to Florida-based, and you may see some differences in their email switching over from Yahoo to Gmail. All right, let's get back to our presentation. Now, let's demonstrate option two, clearing the target prior to import. So within clearing the, uh, the target item prior to import, there's really two options, assuming we're matching, matching based on names and codes, which both of these functions will function in the same manner if we're acting manually as well. The first option, all items, where everything in the target module is cleared regardless of matching. And the second option is when only matched items are cleared, items that have an entry in both the source and target data and are linked within our matching process. This is an example of the file we want to import, the updated bank balance file. It's timestamped, and it contains the most current bank balance data. You'll notice that the accounts ending in 101, 102 that we just updated in the previous file are notably absent from this file. Now, since this is a full account balance load, we can reasonably discern that these accounts have been closed or moved bank branch, and so their bank balance information should be zeroed out. This will have consequences for the model when we do our import. Now, since this is an account balance load, we want the information for all the accounts to be cleared, so then it can be repopulated with newer data where possible and to be left empty where we don't have any data entries. The items in blue, unlike the earlier case, will still be affected by the import. Now for our line items. Now this is where Adam Plan gives us some nuance and ability to customize our imports. In this case, we only want information pertaining to a few specific line items to be cleared, the bank balance, the date, and the time. So we select matched items in source when asked about which target items to clear prior to import, and we only select those three. The line items in blue here actually won't be affected by our import. So let's navigate to our model now and run this import. All right, we selected our file. Let's initiate the import. Awesome. As you can see, we have generated new bank balances for all the accounts in our file, as well as a timestamp to indicate that they've been updated, except for these 100 level accounts for which we did not have entries in our Anaplan file. Now, the entire process of running both of our imports and removing the zeroed out accounts can be run in sequence using this hourly update process button which can be scheduled to run on a regular basis using Anaplan Connect. But because we're running this manually for demonstration purposes, we're simply gonna manually delete the no balance accounts. Awesome. So if you'd like more information on Anaplan Connect and how to set up automated imports, please revisit the first episode on Anaplan Imports titled Anaplan Connect. I'll make sure to have the link for that video in the description below. All right, let's recap. Let's go through the differences of these two options at a high level. For updating imported cells, this is the secondary import option where unmatched data items remain exactly the same. We only update records that have a match in the source data, which makes it great for incremental or delta loads. And the best part is additional complexity can be configured according to business need or user desire. As for clearing the target prior to import, this is the end plan defaults and target item values are zeroed out prior to import. Past data is replaced with source item values that are mapped in, which makes this excellent for full loads. And here at TechLink, we can take care of all of your Anaplan import, setup, data integration, and maintenance needs. We specialize in kinds of automatic data integrations and have years and years of experience across a wide variety of industries, handling these kinds of data challenges and offering customizable and customer-oriented solutions. If you want to discuss your data integration needs with a member of our team, please send an email to anaplan at techlink.com.
or you can reach me by email at abdullah.sayat at techlink.com or on LinkedIn. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of our Anaplan Expert Series. But until then, thank you for watching.